Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of Supercar community news for all of you. My goodness, guys, three episodes in under 24 hours, maybe the most episodes I've ever done in that time frame. Nevertheless, happy to have you guys here. Obviously, a lot of really crazy stuff happening over the last day, and today is no exception with some pretty interesting headline stories and a lot of other really fantastic videos to recommend for all of you. Get ready, guys. Here we go. And if you guys enjoy Supercar community news, but haven't yet hit the subscribe button, I would ask you very kindly to do so. We'd love to have you as a permanent subscriber and it helps keep this channel running. When you guys support our channel in that way, it helps everything that we do day in and day out. So thank you guys so much for your support and we'll jump on to our first story. So our first story actually comes from a post that Stradman put up on Instagram and we'll get to sort of why that's an interesting point here in just a minute. But essentially while Stradman was out attending a wedding talking about the potential Rolls Royce, he might be by. I don't know how we haven't talked about that, by the way. If you guys go check out his older stories, there's a lot of stories that show that he's very interested in a particular Rolls Royce now that the limo that he bought is actually going to Burlack, or more on that in a minute. But in the midst of all these sort of interesting, fun, and very lighthearted posts about the Rolls Royce and a wedding he was attending, we got something of a little bit more serious nature. So here's the bummer thing, guys. Stradman puts up a picture of a Ferrari 430 and says that, hey, my friend's 430 was stolen in Salt Lake City city please call the police if you see it with sort of a, a messed up emoticon afterward. What a shame this is for real guys. Uh, anyone that would go out and steal a, any car, regardless of whether it's exotic or not, is a really, really messed up thing to do. Now obviously if you guys have any information on who stole that car, uh, make sure to contact police about it if you happen to be in the Salt Lake City area. But what a bummer to have someone's exotic car stolen, something that they've obviously worked very hard to get in their life. Uh, it's a really cool thing of Stradman to put out the bulletin on that particular car being stolen and use his extraordinarily wide network to help find a conclusion to that issue. Now here's the kind of running joke part of it that I want to turn into something a little bit more positive than talking about a stolen Ferrari that Stradman posted about. Obviously we talked about what a, what a nice guy Stradman is over the many different responses he sent out, you know, to haters and fans and, you know, like being generally available for a lot of people to, you know, come up and meet and say hi and sit in the cars. I want to see if we can come up with a meme that represents that a little bit. So sort of similar to like good guy Greg if you guys have seen that meme, but maybe with Stradman instead. So send me your best submissions directly on my Instagram account. DM me sort of a, well, your version of the good guy Greg meme, but with Stradman in place of Greg. Let me know what you got. Send it to me on Instagram and I'll make sure I get to all the submissions. I'm sure we're going to have a lot, but let's see if we can't get that going. I think it's time that Stradman was rewarded for all of his nice guy activities. All right, into our next story. Our next story is of a very light hearted nature and we actually we've talked about this sort of relationship before uh, the Beverly Hills Police Department is very well versed in using social media in a way that not a lot of other police departments really are obviously they're in a sort of a mecca for supercars it would make sense that they have some sort of social media presence to monitor but also to engage with people and sort of build trust among supercar owners among other people too and to illustrate this uh, interesting trust between supercar owners and the Beverly Hills Police Department they put up kind of a cool message to Alex Choi after Alex Choi posted about his new sort of license plate outliner that basically says he's a supporter of the Beverly Hills Police Department. So basically both of them post it back and forth and I think this is kind of funny like obviously Alex Choi getting out there thanking the Beverly Hills Police Department for doing what they do and basically the Beverly Hills Police Department coming back and being like hey you're welcome and also putting something kind of funny under the don't panic sign uh, that Alex Choi has on the back of his McLaren 720 saying that you know we never panic with a little police car at the end of that quote. I love seeing this conversing uh, of supercar owners and influencers with the Beverly Hills Police Department. I wish more police departments would do that. I think it's great to build trust over time and obviously it helps us establish a relationship that I think we really need as a car community. What do you guys think about the Beverly Hills Police Department sort of back and forth with influencers and do you think it's effective what they're doing on social media? Let me know. Into our next story guys, Shmi is just, been, well he's always killing it, but this particular
particular episode had me enthralled from start to finish. We've seen him visit this particular person before, but this time he's basically riding around in a Koenigsegg Agera RS, the Phoenix edition. Some of the best hypercars on the planet. I believe the same owner had a straight pipe La Ferrari recently, and now he's showcasing the Koenigsegg Agera RS Phoenix. Shmi tends to have the best relationships that I can think of, except for maybe Supercar Blondie. They're both at the very top tier for what cars they get access to. Do not miss out on this vlog from Shmi. Monster access and incredible coverage of an extraordinarily rare car. All right, guys, gotta give a big shout out to Rob Dom right now. 35 on trending when I looked last. Two-step, all-wheel drive launching the four-rotor RX-7. Oh my goodness, is this car becoming one of the sickest builds on the internet, hands down. I gotta give Rob Dom a lot of props here. He's been working on this car for, I mean, years at this point, and seeing it come to the end of its journey in terms of yeah, the building process is an extraordinarily cool thing to witness. I believe he was on his way headed to the Hoonigan Burnyard Bash, and there's some pretty sick footage that's gonna be coming out of him very, very soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that, and subscribe to Rob Dom's channel if you want some really exciting builds that really nobody else is doing in the automotive YouTube space. And I was waiting for this one, guys. Burlacker with the full tour of the 1982 Rolls-Royce limo that Stradman bought for him. Burlacker's been crushing lately some monster views on his last couple of videos, including one where he came out and visited us in Colorado Springs on his way back to Utah. This vlog is no exception. Fantastic quality. Go check out Burlacker's latest video. I think you guys will really enjoy the Burlacker perspective on the Rolls-Royce limo. Check it out. And you guys know that I love it when my favorite creators get together for collaboration and VinWiki has the exact order that I wanted with getting Tavares on talking about taking the million dollar show car, the Fast and Furious Mercy that he worked on for what seemed like forever, and what it takes to bring that car to SEMA. Tavares touches on some really interesting points about accessibility for YouTubers and just remembering that everyone that you see on camera is pretty much a normal person off camera as well, and sort of the interactions he had with fans when he was out at SEMA and sort of how nerve wracking taking a car to SEMA actually is. Such a cool episode. VinWiki does it better than anybody else in the business. And having guests like Tavares on lend so much credibility and sort of insight into the YouTuber world in a way that not many other channels can do. Check it out guys, fantastic episode on the Fast and Furious Mercy going to SEMA with Tavares' viewpoint. Another dream matchup you didn't know you wanted from Drag Times. We talked about them a yeah, hundred times at this point. Drag Times killing it with a tuned, a newer version NSX versus a ludicrous mode Tesla Model S performance. Very, very interesting race. You can tell the reaction time is pretty much everything in the versus matchup here. It's cool to see a car like the NSX get a little more of its due uh, attention so to speak, against cars that are very proven on the track, like the P100D Ludicrous Mode. Uh, definitely go check this out, guys. Drag Times has all the dream matchups and uploads very regularly, so make sure to go check it out. I think you'll really enjoy the versus matchup here. And we're going to be talking about Normal Guy Supercars for a second. Make sure to go check out his latest video, uh, basically reviewing a 2015 Corvette C7 and talking about what a deal that car is for what you're paying. 35 grand at this point used. Uh, Doug DeMuro did a very similar video. Uh, a couple months ago, I think it was, might have been a little bit longer, but talking about used Corvettes and sort of the, the best bang for the buck you can possibly get in terms of a sports car basically is a used Corvette. Very cool video from Normal Guy Supercar. Make sure to go check him out, guys. I've known of his channel for a long, long time. This is a great video to add to your watch list for today. We're now in part 15 of Goon Squad's rebuild of the wrecked Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, and now we finally have the tuned version of that Jeep after putting on the Pro Charger Supercharger on it. Obviously, a goon squad like we talk about every time is just killing it day in and day out and all of their videos have a pretty crazy fanaticism in a good way of all the people that really enjoy watching their content if you're not watching goon squad you're missing out on one of the most fun rebuild channels that exists on youtube do not miss out on these guys whatsoever next up guys mighty car mods we got to talk more about this channel obviously one of the larger channels in our space but it has some very interesting we'll call them builds for now but essentially what they bought was a moon buggy if you can believe that uh, part of their $10,000 dollar rear engine challenge that they're doing. Go check it out, guys. A very interesting car with a lot of interesting plans for it. Mighty Car Mods, definitely someone to add to your list. And last but certainly not least, seen through glass today, uh, talking about the rarest Ferrari 360 in the world. Uh, one of the most radical uh, 360s ever made. And, and the way that it comes from factory is just going to blow your mind about what it looks like. Seen through glass always does an excellent job covering rare cars, making everything beautifully cinematic, and having just a generally 
really like laid back feel when you watch his content. Seen Through Glass actually visited us last year. We went up to Pikes Peak together in my McLaren and his Porsche 911 T that he brought out. A very cool experience. Sam is an awesome guy. Make sure to go check out his channel if you're not a subscriber already. And that's all the videos that we're going to be covering today. But let me just have a small note here at the very end of the video if you made it this far. Thank you. Bravo, by the way. March was the biggest month we've ever had in the history of the channel. And I thank all of you guys for that. Sometimes we have to cover very complicated situations and it's really cool to get the support from you guys when we do that sort of content. Now obviously we've changed our policy on what we're going to be covering going forward but I think it's all going to be for the best and this being the early part of March we're already off to a fantastic start so thank you guys so much for the support on our channel. Thank you for being you know permanent subscribers if you are and uh, get ready for some really cool content. I've been talking about it for weeks now moving into a brand new house getting a brand new supercar. It's going to be an incredible year and I think we're going to be launching sort of a vlog centric I don't know if I want to call it a channel, but something that can give you guys the vlog content you want, but doesn't disrupt our normal daily news that we do here on Life of Palos. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great end of your weekend, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow, bright and early, or you know maybe late and whatever. I'm not even sure yet. It depends on what the news is going to be. We'll catch you later, guys. Have a great day, and bye.